what's up this is some guy some game and I'm back on Mars um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I've been up to here the last few days uh, working on a few things mostly quality of life improvements not much has changed out here so I'm gonna go ahead and run inside here my guy is getting a little hungry so I might cook up a potato but uh, yeah Oh, getting a little chilly in here. Let me run in here and turn off my AC. Alright, for those of you that have been keeping up, things have been rearranged a little bit. I'll show you that here in just a second. Let's see, do I have any... Nope, nope no secret potatoes today. Alright, I'm going to head down here. I'm going to grab one out. And run back up here. Go ahead and split one off. We're gonna pop him in the microwave. Heat that guy up for us there. Put those back. Well, it's early in the morning here on Mars, so sun's about to come up over the horizon. What's, what's there of the horizon currently? This is a nifty little feature that, well, a feature rack, I guess. It's, uh, take off your space helmet here I can show you put it on there you take off your suit your backpack throw all that on there I usually prefer to leave the backpack on but still it's a pretty cool thing there's a lot of hookups on it so it looks like you're gonna be able to run resupply oxygen and all, kind of all sorts of cool things recharge your battery so that's pretty neat I haven't messed with all that yet I just set it up and I thought it looked pretty cool let me go ahead and eat my baked potato here now I went ahead and added a couple more solar panels and I went ahead and moved my logic inside here so that way I can toggle them from the inside uh, seems to work really good I can just stand here hit it if I have any issues with anything and let me go ahead and put that guy there now if you this is another area I wanted to show you here real quick this this is a finished spot you know I added the ceiling and the floor and it covered up let me let me show you there we go you see all that can't see any of that when you put this stuff on there so it, this is all still rough in here I wanted to I wanted to show you that that way if you know you're still working on a base and you want worried about pipes and wires you know you can cover all that up when you're done and it'll look nice and clean like this does it's, looks like something maybe a hospital would look like. It looks pretty clean. I don't know if you'd want to eat off of it, but eh, maybe you do. I don't know. But all right. Toggle the lights off. Well, eh, maybe I'll leave them on so we can see a little bit better in here. Nothing's changed here in the greenhouse. It's still same old greenhouse. I'm not growing any crops currently cuz I've been messing with stuff and I don't like watching them die on me. So I I usually just don't grow them when I'm messing with stuff. All right, I want to step back into here. I the hall used to enter in through over here. I went ahead and changed that up a little bit. So I added it here because I added some more rooms back here. We got uh, what's going to be sort of a lab area. You know, I can do some recycling with the ores if I need to. And I will show some of that later. But for now, I wanted to show you this room too. This is the gas room. I have a vacuum system set up here so that... I can suck all of the air out of the room and into this tank or I can pull the tank out open the valve and it's gonna go ahead and suction this room everything in this room out I'll go ahead and demonstrate that for you real quick let me put my crowbar back close the door and we got 29 let me get my flip this on and you're gonna slowly see all of the oxygen and everything gets sucked out of the room here so you can then what you can do is melt uh, whatever volatiles and oxide in here if you need to make some fuel or you can melt oxygen in here and then load it into your oxygen tank uh, it works really good I recommend vacuuming out the room down to zero before you start doing that because you want to get as much of the pure gases as you want 
and you'll see it'll start to go down here it should pretty much turn all the oxygen here soon and I have uh, in the meantime I have this rigged up to my air conditioning system so that when I vent my pressure from the air conditioner and the heat I can open up this valve and it'll let the heat into this room because once you start melting the ores the ice of various types it's going to make this room uh, very cold and it's going to make it even harder to melt stuff so flip this open over here and run the gases from the tube into here or I can leave this closed open this one up which will let it run outside and that's run off the side of the base and I'll try to show that here shortly but I'm trying to but the room is pretty much completely it's you can see the pressure it gets pretty detailed here to start going into point one point zero and it should get down to zero oxygen it kind of amazes taking this long honestly it usually seems to go a little quicker here we go and I don't know if you need to go through this extreme uh, to get what you want I'm just doing it now to show well I guess it's a hundred percent CO2 I guess it's whatever's left I when I was doing this before it went to oxygen so but, and that's another thing I wanted to point out I you know I'm trying to give you the best information I can I am not at all an expert you know I I, I actually I intentionally don't go around trying to get everything perfect because I like to learn um, I like to mess with stuff I you know and I and I think you're gonna have the most fun if you get to tweak stuff yourself too just like learning how to do this I don't think I have any ores on me right now but you know it's it's a process that you it's fun to do you know tweaking and getting things correct and engineering the solution the best thing I can tell you if you're having problems getting started on stuff is to go ahead and uh, start putting down your basic idea, start building the framework, and then refine it from there. That's that's how I've done about everything I do. You know, as I put down the basics, and then I just start refining it as I go. It seems to work really good. So right now, the room is at zero KPA. I got that flipped off, and I could go ahead, with it being over melting point, I don't have anything on me, but I, would, I can go ahead and melt whatever I want in this room, and then I could place my tank in here, and the pipe goes up and it junctions off here into here and then I have it closed off you know, make sure you have it closed off but and then it's gonna take whatever's in this room that I melt and put it into the tank now 50 kPa in this room is going to equal a lot of pressure in this tank we're talking like 6,000 or so I, I don't have the exact numbers on it but just be be aware of what you're putting in the tank you don't want to go crazy I'd say around 30 40 kPa would be a good amount of gases in the room to shove into a tank and check out what you got and then refine it from there so this is again I don't have the best way of doing it I'm just trying to show you what I've done and you know maybe something simple you can set up that isn't going to take a lot of thought and a lot of engineering on the whole process just something simple alright let's go ahead and let the oxygen back in now another thing I've been working on that I wanted to show you is my I'm getting some power generated here. Yeah, I got these hooked up. This is just a simple, if, say, I something happened, a panel blew out, or I don't know, you know, something, the air leak, I can close all the doors here to try to stop everything from seeping out of the base. But for the most part, I try to just leave them all open. And you can do some fine controls with the panels here. Um, I usually I let my logic control the vertical. I set the horizontal because once you do this controller, the horizontal seems to want to reset itself. So I've been just setting it manually here. But I wanted to go ahead and show you my new setup I have here. This is set up to just power on the computer and the fabricator, and then you know you just select what you want here from the list. Uh, chemistry station. Let's grab one of those. It's pretty hefty on the iron, so I ain't gonna be building more than one of these, but. Just wanted to demonstrate here. And once that's done, you just toggle your power off. But this is a easy way of doing this without having to run into the bay and grab everything every time you do it. I have a shoot system set up here, so everything I print from my fabricator pops out right here. Now the fabricator's slower at printing a lot of stuff like cables and pipes and things like that, so you you don't want to use it for everything unless you got a lot of time to waste but 
So you still want to go in here and do the bigger manufacturing. I'm going to go ahead and toss this down here. So you still want to come in here and use your machines for the larger manufacturing things. Um, pipes, cables, all that stuff, you know, get them going. Let them run. You know, this, this is going to be way, 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 way quicker than using that fabricator. So uh, I added a few things in here too. Uh, tidied up the place a little bit. Let me uh, turn that off. Turn this on so you can see a little bit better. Now I'm, I got an air scrubber in here. You could hook up an air conditioner in here too. And I got that pipe running outside just so I can drain those systems. Of course, here's the fabricator. And then there's the chute system. It shoots out up here. It falls in here. And then I got this running all the way down and around to my room over here. And then I added a uh, tool manufacturer up here. Uh, it, it looked like a good spot. I didn't have a lot of other places. I So I went ahead and put it up there. Let me pull the iron out of here real quick. We've already seen the pipe bender at work, so I won't show you that again. But Let's see what we got here. Eh, let's print some paint. I have it set up. You know, it's, it's up there. It's high. It's not very easy to get to, so I went ahead and added the lovely little shoot right here. So anything it prints out it's gonna drop down here for me so that I don't have to go trying to hop up here and jump on lockers or put a set of stairs up here or anything so pretty cool I thought I am I'm not doing a lot of painting at the moment eventually I will so this will be handy you know when you wanna start spray painting everything around you so oh, don't wanna throw my dirty laundry out there um, just my random stuff I got thrown in here. Nothing too special at the moment. So, that's mostly what I've been up to in here. I set in the chute system and all that. Um, I also, the new update here, added these in. So, roll cages, you can cover the back of stuff. I, I just kind of threw them in to check them out. I'm not sure I'm going to leave them all where I got them right now. I think I have one out here too. You know, they're just here to show you. Or, well, they were here for me to mess with and for me to show you. So, all right. Let me turn that off. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put in a shortcut here. And then I want to come back and show you basic troubleshooting and maybe tear a few things apart real quick in case you wanted to copy anything I've done. And that way you know what I've done with the shoots and all that. And, you know, maybe you can make your setup a little nicer too and automate a few things for yourself with just some basic it's nothing complicated I didn't do anything too too crazy so I will be right back alright I'm just sitting here watching my manufacturing area print me out a bunch of stuff you can never have too much stuff right especially in a game like this there's always something to build something to manufacture and engineer and always there's always problems to solve so I'm gonna go ahead and hop out here and what I want to do is next go over briefly how, you know, if you're getting frustrated with problems in this game, it's it's natural. You know, it's there's a lot of stuff to figure out. There's a lot of complicated systems. Usually, you can boil most of it down to some simple troubleshooting to help you get going. I'm going to go ahead and... <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and shut, shut down my manufacturing for a minute here. I think i got plenty of supplies built up. But I'll come back to that later. I got a lot more building to do, so I'm going to need them. But let me head in here, and I wanted to go ahead and show you, demonstrate a problem that you might have, and maybe a simple way of troubleshooting to try to get your way out of it. So I hooked up my air conditioner here, and I have this pipe running up here, down through here, and into here. It comes down around, comes down through here, and it's supposed to let all those nice hot gases in here. I don't know if it's going to work. I actually haven't fully tested it yet. So what I'm going to do is test it out right now for you. And I wanted to show you what you would do if you had a problem. Now that is red. I wanted to just go ahead and double check that I had this open. Oops. And green. So, And that should allow the gases in here to come in through that vent. And we've got 1400 kPa of pressure so I'm going to close the door. Wrench her down. We're going to watch that.
pressure shoot out so we know it's going somewhere it, it could get trapped in the tubes and not come out that vent but it should come out that vent so I wanted to make sure all right let's go ahead and unloosen it just so it's ready and then I'm gonna head back down here and we should see a big temperature drop here hopefully if everything went correct oh oh uh, I'm sorry an increase huge increase not drop yes so that this worked out great this room is no problem heating my base if I need to or this room now if I didn't want those gases coming in here I would hit that valve and then I'd want to open this one up and it's gonna let those gases out into space the vacuum here well it's not pure vacuum out in Mars I guess but it's gonna let it out here in space so I don't have to worry about it in here but okay well that worked but I wanted to go ahead and demonstrate if that didn't work because that was actually the first time I had tried it I would want to first come in here and you want to start with the simple it's uh, the simplest stuff you know it's keep it simple stupid is a saying and that's the truth in the simplest designs and the simplest ways of doing things in my opinion are usually the best now you can always refine them and make them better after you've got it working simply if you can but troubleshooting works out you start coming here you wanna I got the valves turned on do I have them in the right direction do I have everything like that on that that's the first thing you'd want to check so in this case if I had them like that I'd be like oh okay so it didn't work because I had my valves switched you know this is the way you would want them if you wanted the gases to come in here you'd want it the other way if you want to go out so but let's just say they worked but I still wasn't getting the gases in here like I wanted the next thing I'd need to check would be the piping because obviously that's the simplest thing to check next because I want to make sure I have the connection all the way around so I would want to head outside here if you can get through the doors sometimes I'm <laughs> I'm pretty bad about getting through the doors but yeah I get around for the most part so let me flip this off for now. I like the atmosphere, I like the lights, I like the stars, I think it looks pretty cool. And right as I say that, it's the sun's coming up. The sun's alright too, I yeah, guess you got your preferences, but I'm a stars kind of guy, I'm, I'm a night guy. So, come up here. Now, my air conditioning one is right here, it's at this corner. So I want to go ahead and check all my connections, make sure they're coming up. Then I got a continuous pipe, which I have it looped over here. Not the prettiest design, but it's effective. And then I have it coming down into the valve, you see, that comes down. I think there's a junction right here. So then this, if I can get over here without falling, vents it out into the space. So I have everything connected, and let's just say, you know, I didn't have everything connected. You know, you that could be what was preventing that from getting through. Uh, you know, it happens. You forget a pipe. You don't got something hooked up right. Just double check the simple stuff first. That's that's what you want to do. So in this case, I would have come in there and I would make sure the valves were on. Come up here, check the pipe connections. And honestly, if you have those set up right, it's gonna work. So unless there's something wrong with the game, which currently it's there's not. So I wouldn't blame the game until you actually make sure you've checked everything. And another thing you want to check is that you have a passive vent on your system. Then if you have an active vent and it's not turning on, that could be causing issues for you too. So make sure you're double checking everything if you're having problems. Try not to get frustrated or too worried about it. But that's basic troubleshooting in a nutshell. You know, you want to find the simplest stuff first, go through, and then f see if you can just figure out what's wrong. Usually you're going to find your problem if you just double check everything and look through the system. So, I wanted to go ahead and mention that because I know a lot of people playing this game might have issues or might get frustrated with not getting stuff correct. It's just, it happens. You know, building these sh this chute system I have here, I at first couldn't get the stuff to go into the correct chute. So I ended up having to figure out, well, I want to put the chute underneath and facing up. And I'll show you that again if you didn't get to see it before. But and it lets the stuff come out of the machine and then fall into the inlet intake which allows it into the system and then it's going to run all along the chutes here and it's going to go down to the outtake out here and it does not need to be powered either it works all uh, apparently by uh, I don't know I guess airflow so it works fine I'm not too worried about the details of it right now I, it's a good system so I'm happy with it and it makes things a little easier for you in the game and right now in this game I think uh, anything that can make the game a little bit easier for you is definitely an A plus in my book I love the game, I love the engineering, but you know, you, uh, 
you don't want to get too frustrated when you're playing games so I understand that and here's my system set up over here uh, again I have it hooked up I told you I have the active vent on this one because I want to be able to toggle it on and off the vacuum and it's just gonna run the stuff out to this vent if I toggle that uh, valve right here so simple setup if not if that valves closed it's gonna run it into the tank and if it's not it's gonna run it out to this vent nothing else is hooked up to it it's not hooked up to any other system it's just this so you could do this in any room you could create yourself a little room add this system in melt your gases uh, like I said you gotta worry about the temperature that was what I was concerned with the most that's why I added the air conditioning hook up there so I can heat that room when I want just by uh, and plus maybe those gases are something I'd want to capture and use from the air conditioner so I could do that now if I wanted to so pretty simple system alright I think I've covered most of what I wanted to cover for this video uh, if you have any questions let me know and if not I will be back here soon with a video on what I'm gonna be working on next which I'm honestly almost done with this setup uh, I need to re-add my roof panels back here. I had messing with stuff, and I'm probably going to go ahead and rip this out. But So I need to do a few uh, housekeeping items, mix, move some cables around maybe, and get some of that stuff. I was going to move my arc furnace inside. so uh, I'm going to do some of that stuff later, though, and I will show you anything I get done in the meantime that uh, I think you need to see. So, All right, I will catch you next time.